pharmaceutical legislation in india this chapter deals with the various laws related to the pharmacy profession in india from this video the learner will be able to be familiar with jurisprudence and pharmaceutical legislation the learner will be able to know about dec committee drugs inquiry committee and its recommendations the learner will also be able to recognize scope and objectives of pharmaceutical legislation in india and recall offenses and penalties of the act some terms present in the chapter jurisprudence jurisprudence is the study of fundamental legal principles pharmaceutical jurisprudence is concerned with the application of pharmaceutical knowledge to the legal problems it is concerned with the laws related to drugs medicines cosmetics pharmacist and pharmaceutical profession jurisprudence manje je basic लीगल प्रिंसिपल्स लॉ के प्रिंसिपल्स हैं तना ज्यूरिस्प्रुडन्स मटल जता जेव हे ज्यूरिस्प्रुडन्स फार्मास्युटिकल नॉलेजला कि फार्मास्युटिकल प्रॉब्लेम्सला अप्लाय के मटल जार्मास्युटिकल ज्यूरिस्प्रुडन्स द नेक्स्ट टर्म इज फार्मास्युटिकल लेजिस्लेशन द पर्पज ऑफ फार्मास्युटिकल लेजिस्लेशन इज टू एन्शर दैट the patient will receive drugs of required quantity tested and evaluated for safety as well as efficacy for their intended use pharmaceutical legislation he patient la yogya veli yogya quantity madhe test and evaluate kelele drugs milayla havet hyacha sathi tayar kelela ahe it means that pharmaceutical legislation is associated with the health of the society appointment of drugs inquiry committee or chopra committee this question can be asked for a long answer type question for 3 and half marks or 4 marks at the first time in india a chemist shop was opened in about 1811 by mr badgate who came to india with east india company in calcutta that means before 1811 there was no any chemist shop available in india after 100 years that is in 1910 this firm started manufacturing of tinctures and spirits another firm was started in 1821 named smith stanley street and company this firm started manufacturing of the pure alkaloids like strychnine and brucine in 1901 bengal chemicals and pharmaceuticals was established in calcutta in 1903 professor t k gajjar started a small factory at parel bombay in 1907 alembic chemical works was started at baroda but these units were not sufficient to fulfill the requirements of indian public in those case in those days most of the medicines were being imported from abroad mainly uk france and germany je available units ahet chemist shop ahet te limited hote ani tyamule lokancha garja bhagavne itke medicines इंडिया मदे तैयार होत नौते मन म इम्पोर्ट करना की गरज निर्माण द ड्रग्स वेर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम यूके फ्रांस एंड जर्मनी देन द सिचुएशन वॉज चेंज विथ द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर चीपर ड्रग्स वेर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम एब्रॉड द मार्केट्स वेर फ्लडेड विथ बोथ इंडिजिनियस एंड इम्पोर्टेड इन्फेरियर अडल्ट्रेटेड एंड मिसब्रांडेड ऐज वेल ऐज सबस्टैंडर्ड ड्रग्स फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर नर आखी सिचुएशन बदलली आनी जास्तीत जास्त चीप स्वस्त ड्रग्स इम्पोर्ट के लिए गेले इंडियन मार्केट मदे लो क्वाटी के ज्याला इन्फेरियर अडल्ट्रेटेड मिसब्रांडेड कि सब स्टैंडर्ड मटल जता अशा अशे ड्रग्स जास्त प्रमाण दिशा लगले 
before independence there was no legal control on drugs as well as on profession of pharmacy because in those days only opium act 1878 poisons act 1919 and dangerous drugs act 1930 were in existence but these acts were not sufficient to control the disorders and bad conditions in drug trade and industry hence in 1928 the government of india appointed the drugs inquiry committee to examine the whole issue of drugs trade in india aplyala swatantra milavnya cha adi fakta teenach act india madhe hote opium act poison act ani dangerous drugs act ani te act sufficient nahte mhanun mag government of india ne drugs inquiry committee appointment appoint keli 1928 madhe the committee was asked to make recommendations for smooth control of manufacture import distribution and sale of drugs in the interest of public health the report of committee was published in 1931 see which are the recommendations of drug inquiry committee this topic is also very important total there are four points the main recommendations of drug inquiry committee are first is formation of central pharmacy council and the state pharmacy council which would look after the education and training of professionals the council would maintain registers containing name and addresses of the registered pharmacist डी ई सी कमिटी ने सेंट्रल फार्मसी काउंसिल ज्याला फार्मसी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया अटल जे फॉर्म करना सुचवल द स्टेट फार्मसी काउंसिलसुद्धा तैयार करना सुचवल प्रत्येक राज्य स्वतः स्टेट फार्मसी काउंसिल है आ प्रत्येक राज्य रजिस्टर मेन्टेन करता है काउंसिल रजिस्टर मेन्टेन करते है ज्यादे फार्मसिस्ट की नाव आड्रेसेस इन्क्लूड के लिए गली सेकेंड रिकमेंडेशन इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ ड्रग कंट्रोल मशीनरी ऐट द सेंटर विद द ब्रांचेस इन ऑल द स्टेट्स कमिटी का दूसर रिकमेंडेशन होते एक सेंट्रल ड्रग कंट्रोल मशीनरी तैयार करण ज्या प्रत्येक राजा ब्रांचेस आती द थर्ड रिकमेंडेशन वॉज formation of central drug laboratory with the staff and experts for speedy and effective working of laboratory and formation of small laboratory which would uh, work under the guidance of central drug laboratory third ani mahatvacha recommendation hote central drug laboratory tayar karna ja madhe experts astil staff asel jo कंटिन्ुअसली ड्रग्स डेवलपमेंट ड्रग रिसर्च व काम करेल ड्रग की क्वाटी चेक करेल द फोर्थ रिकमेंडेशन मेजर्स फॉर मेन्टेनिंग डिसिप्लिनरी कंट्रोल ओवर द प्रैक्टिस एंड प्रोफेशन ऑफ फार्मसी धीस मीन्स द कमिटी हैव रिकमेंडेड दैट द पर्सन्स हू आर एंटरिंग इन द प्रोफेशन ऑफ फार्मसी और हू आर वर्किंग इन द प्रोफेशन ऑफ फार्मसी शूड मेन्टेन सम डिसिप्लिन should follow some rules and regulations and these rules and regulations were also recommended by the committee the next important topic is scope and objectives of pharmaceutical legislation in india can be asked for 3 and 1/2 or 4 marks scope for the smooth control of manufacture import distribution and sale of drugs the drug inquiry committee submitted a report after considering this report drug bill 1940 was passed it came into force as drug act 1940 in 1947 this act covers the provisions related to drugs cosmetics ayurvedic unani and homeopathic medicines the present drug and cosmetics act is an improved version over the drug act 1940 this means the first act which came in existence was drug bill 1940 but it came into force in 1947 and it includes all the provisions which are related to drugs cosmetics ayurvedic unani and homeopathic medicines 
Now it is very well known as Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1946. The Pharmacy Act 1948 was passed with the object to regulate the profession of pharmacy. This act is covering all the information, all the rules and regulation related with the profession of pharmacy. Means those persons who are studying the pharmacy profession, uh, what syllabus will be the, uh, will be for them? Uh, what must be the practical training? Then uh, which must be the practicals uh, or what should they undergo uh, the training? All information is given in the Pharmacy Act 1948. In 1954, the Drugs and Magic Remedies Objectionable Advertisement Act was passed with the main aim to control certain types of the advertisements relating to drugs and to prohibit certain kinds of advertisements relating to magic remedies. There are certain types of the drugs of which the advertisement cannot be made to make control on advertisement of such drugs, this act came in existence. Also, there are certain magic remedies. Magic remedy manje jadu tona, tantra, mantra, yansa upyok karun keli zanari, keli zanare upchar. Actually, the advertisement of magic remedies is also not allowed or it is prohibited. So, the act is also prohibiting such type of the advertisements related to magic remedies. The Medicinal and Toilet Preparations Act 1955 was passed providing for the levy and collection of duties of excise on medicinal and toilet preparations containing alcohol, opium, Indian, hemp or other narcotic drugs and narcotics. Alcohol, opium, Indian hemp, all these are the habit forming drugs and uh, they may be misused. They should be used as uh, in the as ingredient of the preparation of the medicines, but they were uh, misused and that's why uh, the act came in existence. Drugs Price Control Order 1995 has been passed by the central government to ensure equal distribution of the essential bulk drugs and to fix the maximum retail price of drugs. Drugs Price Control Order he pratyek drugs distribution equally vaila hava kontai bhaga madhe especially rural kiwa adivasi area madhe drugs shortage ho nahi manun astitvat aale. Yashivai, drug chi maximum retail price pan fix karna saati ha act mahatwasa hai. Jene korun drug chi price all over the country same as hai. In 1985, the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act was passed along with the rules repealing the Dangerous Drugs Act 1930 and Opium Act 1878. Before independ independence, these two acts were available, Dangerous Drugs Act and Opium Act. The Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substance Act is improved version of these two acts. Objectives The main objective of pharmaceutical legislation in India is to promote health care by regulating the manufacture, supply and distribution of quality drugs. This is the main aim of the pharmacy profession to provide regular supply of all the medicines at right time in a right way to the patients. The another objective is to make the drugs available to the public at reasonable price and through qualified persons for which the drugs price control order came in existence. Third objective is to safeguard the public from misleading advertisements about the drugs and remedies. For this, Drugs and Magic Remedies Act came in existence. The next objective is to regulate the profession of pharmacy, for which Pharmacy Act 1940 came in existence. And the last objective is to promote the indigenous research, technology know-how, 
in the manufacture of drugs this act promotes or stimulates the more researches more technologies for manufacture of drugs the last topic from the chapter is role of pharmacist in relation to healthcare system as pharmacist is most important person in health healthcare system he is an expert of drugs he is legally responsible for quality of product which is manufactured and distributed with the developing trends in science and technology as well as in the patent and synthetic drugs the responsibility of pharmacist is increased to be in, to give information to the prescriber the information to the patient is also to be provided regarding the uses and side effects of such drugs in the interest of public health pharmacists supply medicines against prescription they counsel the patients at the time of dispensing prescription they participate in health programs means they are uh, helping the patient regarding how to use the medicine pharmacist should be responsible for planning and establishment of proper pharmacy services pharmacist provide link between physician and patient he is the only person who is in the middle of physician and a patient the profession of pharmacy presently consists of industrial pharmacist hospital pharmacist academic pharmacist and community pharmacist the pharmacist has to play an important role in areas such as prescription adherence storage and distribution of drugs consultation and management drug choice drug monitoring information and education clinical pharmacokinetics and research and development and many other health activities